Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Surgery and here we are in Physics Surgery Quickies uh, wherein I bring forward small nuggets and I call them as fast food for thought and with conviction I can say that this is one fast food that is harmless for the students. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a concept which is less discussed in the textbooks. Uh, it is about work done by internal forces of a man when he's climbing up the stairs or ladder or as is the case in this present problem as you could see on the right side on the thumbnail is a problem where a person is climbing up a ladder on a balloon which is floating still in a air okay right so let's try to see the formal statement of this particular problem uh, in case you have not seen this problem in my channel before uh, pause the video here if you're a serious aspirant give it a try for two or three minutes and do come back for the complete concept explanation first and then the solution and also i'll top it out with the practice problem on a similar scenario to extend our understanding of this concept okay so that's what lot is there to await at the end of the video. Okay, so here I go with the formal reading. Mass of the balloon and ladder system is capital M, this entire system, capital M. And there's a person of mass small m, right? Initially, the system is floating in air at rest. So some force is there, which is keeping it at rest. Find the internal uh, forces work done of the man in raising himself up the ladder through this height H in the picture, as you could see. You have to assume that this process of his climbing is very slow. Right, so give it a try and then do come back. Okay, so I hope you have tried it out. So let's first of all see the, uh, this problem actually was a part of a revision video. It was somewhere around one, one and a half hour video that I've posted in the past in this particular channel. That video revised the concept of G, uh, work power energy for the JE main syllabus. And also I have thrown in a lot of JE advanced and slightly Olympiad level problems in as practice problems. Okay, so lots of those homework problems in this video would be helping you. So you can check the link of that particular complete video in the description and also answers for those uh, homework problems you can nicely go through the comments below that video and with timestamps some of the good students that visit this channel have answered and have responded so in case you want to check your responses so that's a nice practice for work for energy so we'll move forward okay you can see a lot of things on the board i as usually tell you just don't read everything on your own give me a chance i'll take you through okay so just watch where I point out and explain. So what I have done is you could see on the right side, I picked the picture of the diagram and I separated out the free body diagram of two important aspects. One is the ladder plus balloon system whose weight is capital M. Okay, you could see that MG is the weight of that and the contact force of the person, right? I know I have picked out the ladder. Ladder is there, assume as a part of the system. Man is not the part of the system. So the contact force is FC. As he climbs, please understand this FC is a time variable function. It varies in steps. As he keeps climbing, this FC will be impulsively varying. Okay, right? And this M plus M into G should be equal to the bind force produced by this balloon. Otherwise, at the initial stage, it would not have not stayed at rest. Remember, it has to support the weight of both balloon and the person. So the total weight of balloon plus person should be the bind force. Okay, that's how I got this FPD. Assume that during this particular climbing of the person, the balloon gets dragged down by a displacement of S capital M. That's the depiction I have made. Similarly, the person's FBD, this small person here who is climbing, I have drawn here, the same capital FC that was acting on this balloon should act in the upward direction, Newton's third law, and his own weight, small mg, should act downward. Okay, So uh, even though the picture I could not erase, assume ladder is not part of this FBD. This FBD is only for the person. Okay, right. So assume this person during this movement goes up by a displacement of S small m. Okay, This is small m, this is capital M. Right. Now that the picture has been already divided, let me remove the picture from the equation. Okay. So now we have the equations. So let me thoroughly go through them for you. Net force on the system of M plus M is zero, which means acceleration of center of mass of the system is zero. And if acceleration of any point is zero in kinematics, we learn that the change in velocity of that should be zero. Here in this present problem, both the objects were initially at rest. Therefore, center of mass initially had a velocity of zero, which means the velocity during the process also is zero. So that means center of mass never moved. So the y-coordinate or the y-displacement or vertical displacement of center of mass should be zero. 
which boils down to, you remember M1 Y1 plus M2 Y2 divided by M1 plus M2 should be zero. I've removed the denominator and small m into S small m. I have taken upward S positive. This downward displacement of S capital M has been put up with a minus sign. Okay, right. So that immediately tells you a basic relation. Some of you might have got it in one step as ratio of displacements of small m and capital M with respect to ground would be in the inverse ratio of their masses. You could see that clearly here. Not only that, he has been uh, telling us that some of these displacements as the balloon comes down by S capital M and this person goes up by S small m, they cover up a total gap of H. Okay, so let me bring back that uh, picture for you, right? So as this fellow goes up by a small m and this one comes down, this gap of small h should be recovered. Okay, right? I hope that's very clear. And using these two equations, that inverse ratio and this one, you should be able to realize individual values of a small m is capital M h by m plus m and this one will have a numerator value of small m. Up directions are also known. Okay, so with this information, let's do the energy analysis now. Now, when you're doing energy analysis, it's very clear which frame are you writing work energy theorem. Work energy theorem is nothing but W all, that is work done by all forces is equal to delta Ke, which is change in kinetic energy. Okay, so here uh, you could clearly see I'm doing it from the ground frame. I know I have written two here and one here. There is a reason for it and I'll go ahead and explain. Let me first of all highlight the systems that I have taken, okay, with respect to ground. First one is, or I should say second one is on the man as the system with respect to ground. I have written W all equal delta Ke. I'll explain. And the first one is on the ladder plans balloon system. That is this one with respect to ground. We'll try to understand what are the forces that are doing work and some of for these forces should be zero because the process is slow, okay? So the reason for choosing ladder plus balloon system is that this is a non-living body, okay? So living bodies like persons and animals, they have joints and inside internal mechanisms, they'll be able to do work, which is difficult to calculate. So you have to calculate them indirectly. There is no integration for that, okay? There's no formula for that. So always, whenever you are in dilemma, choose among all the systems that are available, the system in which internal mechanisms are not there. Okay, right. So the ladder and balloon system I have chosen. And as you could see, there are FB and MG and FC three forces that are supposed to do work. I have written the summation of these three is equal to zero. Now I'm going to write these values. I've kept the arrows ready for your understanding. Okay, right. Now work done by gravity should be because the displacement is downward and gravity is downward should be a positive number. And also work done by FB, which is M plus M into G. It's a constant force. Uh, it is negative because you could see that these two are in the moving in the opposite direction. Okay, so let me bring those values for you now that you've understood it. Yeah, here. So these are the two values as explained. Okay, right. And that indirectly gives us the value of, that indirectly gives us the value of work done by contact force on balloon. As I told you, contact force is going to be an impulsive variable force. So you can't directly calculate this. So you rearrange this, you could see capital MGSM and this capital MGSM cancels. Only small MGSM survives. Therefore, this WFC on balloon becomes small MGSM on this side, you take it, okay? So we got that particular part ready. And work done by contact force on balloon and work done by contact force on hand are going to be equal and opposite. You might be wondering why, because the value of these forces are equal and opposite, but you can complain saying that the displacements are not equal and opposite. Here, the displacement is showing up as SM and displacement here is showing up as S capital M. Now here's the trick. The displacement S small M is the displacement of the person, but not the points of contact. If you carefully observe how a person climbs up a ladder, his body moves up, but the hand where he places the contact firmly holds the ladder and will share the same displacement as the ladder. Let me show you a simple video in which a person is trying to climb a ladder. Okay, so notice this. Let me play this one out in slow motion. Okay, so you could see the person is now look at only the legs part. Okay, right. Let me slow it down for you. Now, carefully observe the leg which is in contact. I hope you are able to see his right leg is in contact. That is not moving. The rest of the body which is moving is not in contact. 
okay so the fc will act on the point which is in contact with the ladder therefore the displacement of point of contact is the displacement of ladder and not the man so watch it carefully so whichever foot is in contact that doesn't move right the one which is in moving is not in contact okay so that's the secret there so the ladder's displacement is the displacement of the point of contact okay here in this present video the ladder is at rest but in our actual problem ladder moves so there the displacement is going to be taken into account in that manner okay if you see the hands also in another video let me try it out yeah in this one if carefully observe the hands of the person also function in the same way you see the hand which is in contact is not going to move the rest of the body moves up okay so if fc is acting on this hand it will share the same displacement as the ladder okay right i think that's as simple as possible so let's go back so the work done by this fc will not share this sm but it will share the displacement of ladder which is the same as the displacement here on the right side of your screen okay since fc here and fc are equal and opposite but displacements are equal for the hand contacts the works of these two are equal and opposite so if i had got work done by wfc here as capital mg small uh, the s capital m then i have to write a negative value of that that's why i'm taking this as 2 first i'll calculate wfc on balloon and substitute it here okay so let me pull that one out with conviction now see it's the negative of whatever answer i got from here okay right so small mg sm here which positive answer became the negative answer here this is s capital m okay not small m that's the most important point of the video okay and wmg work done by gravity but gravity the person's displacement will be taken so these two are opposite so minus mg sm combining these two and bringing them on the other side the value of the work done by internal forces of the man is going to be mg into sum of these two and you know what is the value of mg into sum of those two we have already got that as h but for those uh, who want it we have already borrowed it to see at the bottom of the page i brought them from the previous page this one some of these two were supposed to be h right so these two so work done by internal forces on the man that immediately implies h mg h which is interesting answer right it would have been the same had the ladder been fixed so you see at the bottom after all the struggles we got this as mg h and during this problem we can now answer what is the work done by contact force on balloon all the simple other points also can be asked in a je advanced examination like a more than one correct answer type okay now that the answer has been reached small mg a lot of people did not get this right in the comment section in the previous video when i posted this okay so here's the practice problem on the same situation you could see the same diagram but i am going to change the reference frame the previous problem solution i have given it using ground frame so now imagine the reference frame you might be wondering what this person was doing in my problem i had some role for him and that's for the practice problem now this fellow is the reference frame right which is nothing but saying the balloon is the reference frame okay so same situation non inertial frame let's do two problems okay right man moving up the ladder same thing from rest slowly and in the reference frame of the balloon or this person what is the work done by pseudo force on man this man during the climb so because this fellow is going to move he is a non inertial frame non inertial frame sees a pseudo force on this small m guy and therefore what is the work done by the pseudo force during the climb a very interesting answer you will be surprised once you work it out okay and also resolve the previous problem the one that i actually solved this some of the students would have tried solving this from the ladder frame uh will you get the same answer will you get a different answer that means my question is work done by the internal forces of man should be frame dependent or frame independent so one and two please comment your answer below with the time stamp and i'll come up with the solution of this in the next physics surgery quickies especially if some of the students are struggling to get the answer okay so that's it for this so my social media presence i have already announced so just in case you are new you can follow me on these uh, social media handles right um, all the ids are in front of you and i'll be posting some problems 
problem challenges there which i can't in the youtube channel okay so it will be nice uh, to stay abreast with those things and in case you are people who generally stay away from social media please do stay that way if you are having exams these kind of things actually are for people who are having some time so real aspirants please do stay away from the social media okay and take a tour of the website i have already built a website i have already made uh, one uh, video on that it's on the front page of the channel uh, explaining what are the important things about the website what are the things that are the advantages of the website which the youtube channel may not give so please go through that especially the problem sets that i have uploaded so please make sure you go through them link of the website is in the description below or on the i button above and also i have announced the uh, telegram discussion group uh, it's not a 24 hour line um, discussion doubts session where you post a doubt and i am supposed to answer i actually mostly will not stay active in that particular group once or twice a day once or twice a day i'll come inside i'll put one or two problems or i'll answer one or two questions it's mostly for the students important uh, thing to understand it is it is serious students who are discussing among each other okay so discussion is a part of teaching and teaching as feminine says will ensure that you strengthen your concept so when you discuss a concept with like-minded students you it, it will strengthen your uh, concept okay so please read the rules of that uh, group from the community post i posted and link of the uh, telegram group is in the description below please join only if you are serious okay so that's it and uh, apart from the physics surgical case there are so many series that are parallelly running as i keep saying please do check out all these links in the description below and in case you have liked this particular concept and you want to share it with others please do share it do like it especially liked things will get up uh, recommended to many people so that the reach of the channel increases and if you're new uh, try three or four videos you will definitely I'm very confident that you'll be subscribing to the channel and also hit the notification bell icon. If the exams are nearer, you'll never want to miss the latest updates from the channel, both in the community post and also in the main channel. Okay, so thanks for staying this long and see you in the next video.